We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Kenneth Walker, running back for the Seattle Seahawks. I was a big fan of the draft class and a really big fan of Kenneth Walker. He was my RB1 in that draft, and he looks really good in his action coming in for Penny. Uh, love his contact balance, his vision on zone runs, and he's got those loose, oily hips, which makes him really difficult to tackle out in space. He's so elusive, low center of gravity runner, so it's hard to get a clean hit on him. So let's get right into this one. Here we got Walker basically taking a direct snap here, almost like a wildcat. They go for the over the head snap. He takes it, get up the middle. Good job finding space here. Good vision. He could hit up here, but he's able to anticipate Collins coming off to this inside. So he breaks, shows nice lower body flexion, ankle flexion to change on a dime. So good footwork. Love the ability. Just look how loose his hips are making these cuts. His hips combined with his footwork, his feet are dynamic. The ankle flexion allows him to just change directions, make these dynamic cuts. Just a super impressive player. And he's always always playing with low pad level. He has that low center of gravity. And he just squares people up, drops those shoulders, and then will finish, pick up a few extra yards on a lot of different plays. So I love that what he brings to the table on this type of situation, getting him out in space here. You know, getting him the direct snap, allowing all this space to open up, and he shows that good vision. Find the space, loose hips, elusiveness. Really, really good stuff there from Walker. Walker is super advanced on these zone runs, pressing the line of scrimmage and then bouncing to find the cutback lane. Just amazing work here. Look at this. Presses up to these, this clump of linemen right here. Presses and then makes this cut and then presses towards the gap to get 34 to commit downhill. He makes a linebacker commit here and then now he's going to make Thompson commit into this hole and then stick that foot in the ground and he just makes these dynamic cuts. Great hips, jump cut, get to the outside get to space, run through some arm tackles, picks up all these extra yardage just because he's super advanced, knows how to press the line of scrimmage, manipulate the second and third level defenders, and then dynamic cuts, loose hips. Right there, I knew he would come in and excel in that area because he was doing that in college all throughout his film, and he's already doing it right away for the Seahawks. Showing this play, just to look at his lower body flexion, watch him change direction here, and look how flexible the lower half is right here. He is overextended like your body should not be able to move like this look at the angle of his feet no his feet are not underneath him and he's still able to cut and not slip here it's insane that lower body flexion that balance the body control all of it that is ridiculous you should not be able to move like this most running backs can't it's the flexion in the ankles and the fluidity in his hips and then to make cuts off of that that's why his cuts are so good in the open field he's so hard to find this is only a three yard run but this just shows what he's capable of in the future when he's able to make guys miss in space. These cuts are dangerous, lethal, and then able to come off that one cut to then stick your left foot in the ground and then get it back up, hit, back up field to pick up an extra yard. Ridiculous. Absolutely insane from Kenneth Walker. Have this play in here for Walker just to show off his catching ability because that was a big thing coming out of Michigan State is can he catch the ball? And right here, he shows some smoothness, natural hands ability, catching this away from his catch from his uh his frame right here fully extended pretty natural pretty smooth pretty good hand technique and then able to turn and get up field so like what i've seen as a receiver it ha it's not been perfect or anything but it's been nice to see him catching the ball smoothly out of the backfield won't give you too much as a route runner or at least we haven't seen it yet more of just like a check down get it ball out to him in the flat screen type of player but this is nice to see from an rb1 that's able to catch the ball away from his body and then, you know, almost makes the defender miss there too. While Walker is really good at finding the cutback lanes, he also does a great job of pressing and then bouncing to the outside. He just has great vision. And then look at the contact balance. The core strength never gives up on this play. We'll go back. We'll watch this from the back end. It's easier to see. They create the penetration into the backfield. He plays it slow. Stops. He does a really good job of stopping and then restarting his feet. Bounce to the outside. Really good job. And then great. Look at this stick his foot in the ground right foot change direction to get upfield makes 52 and 20 both overflow runs through an arm tackle and then stays low center of gravity never gives up on the play great contact balance great job staying on his feet keeping his feet beneath him never giving up he does a really good job with keeping his feet low to the ground too he takes a lot of short choppy steps and then dynamic quickness just a really special player especially out in space. He does a great job of creating when things aren't here. Like this is not perfectly blocked and he does a great job creating his own space, 
by stopping, getting to the outside, and then making multiple people miss, and then running through tackles like it's nothing. So really, really impressed with what I've seen so far from Kenneth Walker. And then here, we got Walker's touchdown in this game. Good job just working off his blocks, pressing, getting everyone to get inside, and then able to find that outside lane right there. Watch this from the back end. This time we get to see him work the gap scheme run. Get behind your blockers, takes a perfect angle, get behind him, then press up field to get Baker to commit down, everyone to come up on their blocks, and then change his angle up. He does a great job of pointing his hips to where he wants to go, point the toe, point the hips, get to the outside, give Murphy just enough to the inside to stop his feet to get back to the outside track right there. He just does a great job manipulating these defenders. He's so elusive in space and he just has a great understanding of what to do with his leverage where he needs to attack with his hips and just manipulate with his body language it's really really special to see from him he's also a big play threat which usually for his body type you think he's more of a guy that grinds between the tackles but he does a great job he has some solid long speed we can see it on the outside zone pressing to the outside and he just sees it he sees the hole opening up on the backside. great vision to find this press stick your foot in the ground and then once you get into space Great field vision, great speed. No one's going to catch him. Just really good job sticking the foot in the ground, finding the space, special stuff from Walker. This is sort of like that first play where people are like no taking notice of what he's capable of. Even five yard runs are super impressive from Walker. Pressing, pressing, makes the cut back. Really, really advanced stuff here. Might not seem like much, but look at the outside zone. This guy sets the edge, so he doesn't want to cut this to the outside. He's making good reads here. Just reading leverage, pressing, quick choppy feet. Look at his footwork here. Quick choppy feet to get upfield. And then once he sees the cutback open up, everyone overflows just enough. He's just waiting patiently. Great patience. Bounce to the, uh, bounces back on the cutback. And then stick your foot in the ground and get upfield right after the jump cut. Really good work here from Walker. Maybe the jump cut could have been a little more efficient because he presses up a little too much. And this tight end makes him have to jump backwards a little bit. But other than that, really really nice play from walker love seeing these little nuances to his game it's a uh, really translated from college and it's just a perfect scheme fit for the seattle seahawks last play that i'm going to break down on kenneth walker right here getting him working on some jet motions this is what they were doing earlier in the season when he wasn't the, like the starter and just look how dangerous he is with the ball in his hands it's absolutely insane the things that he is able to do with this combination of elusiveness the contact balance the strength that he plays with, the vision to find these holes. He's just like that perfect blend. And look at the footwork. Make guys miss. Just takes that hit like it's nothing. And is able to find these cutback lanes, knowing that everyone's probably going to be overflowing. So he gets his eyes back to the inside, makes everyone miss, then cuts it up right here to maximize yardage, drop the shoulder into the guys. So really, really advanced stuff. I'm a big fan of his game overall. Pretty much was, yeah, he was definitely my favorite back coming out. I really... I had him and Brees Hall as running back one, running back two, and that's looking pretty good so far. Those guys have been lights out. We'll drop a Brees Hall video later uh, this week. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.